Where does the word God come from? How did it enter into the English language? Where's that ye hal? Ekhat Kevin. Its origins come from Proto-Indo-European, with a word down here that I cannot pronounce. This Proto-Indo-European word is an adjective meaning poured or invoked, which evolved into later Proto-Germanic rva, which meant deity or simply a god. So, in the pre-Christian times, before Christianity came to Europe, uh, especially to the Germanic peoples, uh, this word God, uh, in Old English, w was originally a neuter noun. Because in Old English, there are three genders. There is masculine, feminine, and neuter, just like modern-day German. Well, some of you may be wondering, why neuter? Because it could either be about a male deity or a female goddess. If, for example, someone is uh, traveling and something and they see an idol and they don't know who that deity is and, and so, so, one part, when, so when somebody doesn't know, they'll say, oh, uh, that's God, you know, so uh, that uh, is the neuter article, so it's like the God, but like just neuter form, because we don't know. Um, but the, this word, this neuter, uh, neuter God, uh, in Old English, God, um, it is typically used in the plural. So to talk about male deities and uh, female deities in one word, so godu would be the, would be the word god, but neuter, but in plural. For an example sentence, it could be something like uh, the godu uh, englandes, so the gods of England. Yeah, and that includes female, female and masculine deities. Now we know that the word god is the neuter noun of deity, but what's the masculine form to refer to a male deity? That's goda. Goda. And the and the a at the end that is um used used as a way to denote um a male agent. Okay, we know the neuter, we know the masculine, but what is the feminine? How do you say goddess in old English? That's guden. And that word Guden is cognate to modern-day German Götzen. Given its uh, PIE root of what it means, a poured or invoked, if you will, so we can get an idea of what this word, this neuter God word actually means. So it's kind of like an epithet, like sort of like a relative pronoun, like saying the invoked one or the one that is invoked or the one that is, uh, uh, that is libated for. Um, a libation is, is um, it's, like, it's an offering, but with liquid, all right? Anyway, so basically, so the word God in a pagan context, if you will, is kind of like a relative pronoun, so we're referring to the, the natural name of the God. It could be, I don't know, anything like Woden, uh, Thunar, uh, or what have you, okay? To give you a comparison, it's like how um, people who, who uh, practice Sanatana Dharma they say in their devotional songs, uh, Jaya Dev, Jaya Devi, or yeah, Jaya Dev, or Jaya Devi, or, or Jay Deva. You know, it, well, that, that phrase in particular means uh, triumph or victory to the God. And the word Dev, or Deva, or Devi, that is related with our um, English uh, deity. And the word deity comes from Latin Deus. It's all interrelated. So when Christianity came to this picture, the word God. Uh, in the Germanic languages, all of a sudden went from a neuter noun to a masculine noun to reflect Abrahamism. Okay? Here's the difference between Indo-European spirituality and Abrahamism, where, for example, uh, when Christianity came to uh, Europe or the Germanic peoples, oh, uh, Jesus, yeah, this put him uh, next to uh, Thor, why don't you? So, in the Indo-European mindset, it's like, oh, this incorporate gods from wherever or what have you. Um, Abrahamism, on the other hand, oh, you become uh, one of us? Okay, remove all your gods. You only accept our, our prophet and only our prophet. No one else. And that is it for this video. Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe if you're new. And if you really like the channel, feel free to become a patron at my Patreon page down below. Thanks for watching. See ya.